morning. We are getting ready to bake some bars here. We've got a friend coming over to, for a couple nights, the boys' friend, and I wanted to have some bars on hand. Also working on our garage right now, it has been in bad <laughs> need of organization. We have so much like sports gear and bikes and different things in the garage and it's just like a huge mess and it was building up, building up. Nick and I were both just sick of it. So trying to keep it super cost effective. Nothing fancy at all. What's up, Harper? But first off, we're gonna start with baking some really easy bars. They're like chocolate chip cream cheese bars. So we're gonna get those in the oven and then kind of proceed with our day. My house needs a little attention too. Uh, and so yeah, just gonna take you along and see what the day or the weekend holds. We have the cutest linen aprons you ever saw. Like, look at this thing. Oh, so cute. This one has like a little bit of a tan pinstripe. And then Harper has one too. Harper? Oh. And she just got chocolate on it. So that's nice. But this one she can definitely grow into. But they're from a little small business and she sent me these and they're just adorable. I will leave her information in the description box and you can go check them out. So this one's gonna get a ton of use, I know it, and it's just a nice natural color. Hold all of it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add in some stuff, then you can stir, but you have to be careful. Oops. Oh, I know how to do it. This thing, it's gonna be too dry to use the whisk, so let me get it out first. Okay, just a minute. I need to go do my laundry. I'm getting boys uh, baseball gear clean is no joke. <laughs> we have orange dirt down here, at least of the bull diamonds we do, and so this is generally what I use. It is Miss Mouth's Messy Eater. It's actually non-toxic, but it like literally will take a stain out of something. If you spray it on, it just does magic. Uh, this one does pretty well with their stuff, but it, obviously it's pretty heavily like dirty and stuff, but it does pretty well with grass stains even. Like I don't even really scrub it necessarily, and it does pretty well with it. It's highly recommend this stuff. And then this is the Humble Suds line. It's the first time I've been using it. I've, I'm almost through my laundry detergent from them. It's like a, I got a big bag of it. And this is their mineral oxygen powder. It whitens and brightens, lifts stains and deodorizes. Um, this is also like a non-toxic uh, laundry detergent. So I am almost out of the powder. I would say it does pretty well. Uh, mine I think has a little bit of a scent maybe. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's like 100% effective all the time and I have noticed a few smells and stuff, but I think it helps if I think it helps if I put this in with it so Feel free to try it. It's just something I've been trying myself Did you eat a bunch out of here? Did you eat a bunch? You didn't The state of our garage has reached an all-time high. Absolutely terrible. And I cannot deal with it any longer. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get rid of stuff. I'm gonna have to take it out. I don't know how long this process is gonna take, but eh, something's gotta give. In Florida, garages are often our only storage option, which is the case for us. And we also have a lot of outdoor related things because it's warm weather all year round. Oh yes, it is just a situation, I tell ya. Pretty embarrassing, actually. Gotta do something about it.
we are rearranging. We're gonna move this shelf over to the wall where we had the red like tool cabinet. We have our stuff kind of set up. We're very unsure about it because it's kind of windy. Don't play with the plastic, okay? And we have my dad's cup paint sprayer because we thought that'd be a lot easier than trying to paint it by hand. I think I see some specks on my lens. I tried to be careful. It was my first time using a sprayer. <laughs> it's actually pretty swift. Mm. Wow. Let's see what happens to these, huh? They're called dandelions. I know that. Okay. Wow, this one's not little. Okay, you can try that one. My, my mom said I can paint. Your mom said you can paint? Yeah. Good deal. Shoes off. Oh, I would leave them on. Why? Because. Yeah, okay. I like this blue brush better. Is it your size? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at all the Yeah, that's what happens with the big brush, Joey. Okay, I Heated right now. I am not going in the pool. Yes, you have to. You got it in there. Yes. Good job. I could screw this. Oh. I think I want to, at least partially. I do like it.
Okay, I feel like you have just seen me in like the worst attire, complete like unkempt appearance today, but I did wash my hair and hence the hat. So I am gonna call it a day for today. Tomorrow is another day. I can finish organizing the garage, hopefully tomorrow. I'm excited. Nick also made a little bike rack to put some of the kids bikes in and I just need to continue to organize. I'm really excited to actually have a place to go with stuff. I'm very tired, I will say, but uh, the boys and Nick went to a softball league game tonight and they'll be back late and then they have baseball tomorrow. So I'm just gonna be at home most of the day tomorrow, I think. So I'll keep working at it and I'll probably show you. Hello. <laughs> Got the day started. It's Saturday. It's just the girls and I gonna be at home for at least a couple hours. So I'm gonna start like emptying the garage and working on just like cleaning it out and then reorganizing stuff. So see if we can whip this place in shape. So I sort of washed out the garage. I didn't make it like with a lot of running water or anything because I didn't want stuff to like get wet that shouldn't. But the floors are not nice looking. However, at least I know I kind of got some of the dust and stuff off. And sorry, I'm out of breath. Work on doing some reorganizing and trying to figure out what needs to go where. Push this one on the front. Okay, now push off on this one. 
Oakland, you're doing it. <gasps> Do you want to turn around? Turn around. Make a big circle. Yep. Good job. Keep going. Yep. Keep going. Now you know how. <laughs> you got it. You just got to move your pedals to where you need to start. Okay. Get ready. You can do it. Focus on going forward. Yep. Good job. There you go. I'm so excited to show you guys. I don't know what it is about having an organized garage, but I am just thrilled, literally thrilled, because I have never seen a garage look this empty before. And yet everything has a place to go, for the most part. I'm gonna show you guys how it turned out. The unit that Nick built me is perfect. It's what we needed for the space. We had so much baseball gear. We had sports stuff. I did add some baskets to the bottom. I decided to use baskets because they will be useful in other spots if I decide that we need something else here. And dirt can kind of siphon through the bottom. And they're very sturdy. These are from Target and they were on sale when I got them. I think they were like 20 a piece. I just organized the different types of things. This is like pickleball stuff eh, with a random softball in there and some of Nick's baseball and then extra gloves. There's a thing for baseballs and then one for footballs or any other types of uh, sports stuff. And then I have the boys' locker here. This was Nick's idea. They can just hang them right there. There's room for shoes. And then we have a slot for their golf bags as well. And then Nick wanted one for his. And then I did end up buying these $8 totes from Target as well. But I wanted something with a lid and they're just a nice tan color, kind of match my door over here. And then I have things in there. This is like a, I think my Bissell cleaning machine, green machine. And then I have my mop bucket and I have like a thermos and an ice chest type of thing in there. So that was able to leave the house and this one has a spot to go. So that can also change with time if we need it. And then over here, we had an outlet here and this is where I plug in my vacuums. I'm very happy to have a house for them. I also have my brooms on this side and then my just my shark rocket, the cordless one here. So my mops all like collapse a little shorter so that helps of course then we have the door we have the sink and then this cabinet we had salvaged from the kitchen that was in our house before we demoed it i just pulled it out here and it has some like cleaning products and stuff in 
We've got a step stool there and then we have the freezer and the fridge which just fit perfectly. I am very happy we could fit it in there because it was just kind of like dead space there. It wasn't really tall enough to put a shelf there and we just, it was like one of those catch-all corners as was the whole garage, honestly. This area here is not necessarily very lovely to look at. I really wish that back in the day when I had bought bins that I would have bought bins that you can't see into. So, I mean, there's two sides to the coin. Sometimes it's nice to be able to see inside because it, it makes it feel way more cluttered. As far as the rest of the garage, Nick also built a little rack for the bikes to go on uh, just to put the tires in. And there's also room to grow because we are still needing another one for Jackson. Uh, and Oakland just started riding hers this weekend, as you saw in the one clip, which is really exciting. I knew she wouldn't take long to figure it out. She'd been riding her Strider for a long time so I knew she has the balance down pat. It was just the thing of actually knowing how to pedal. And so all of a sudden it just like clicked. It didn't take her long at all. And so I'm very happy she's been riding and riding and riding around the circle here. <laughs> so we have a place for the golf cart. We have the shelves that we moved to the other side of the garage. I also discovered that I could put a few things up in our attic. So I did go up with like a few different things. I think I put them in totes and then I had like our uh, wreaths or garlands. I had a couple of the canvas bags so I put those up there so I was able to put a few things up there not too much but there's like a little platform I could utilize so that also helped a lot and you guys saw me reorganize this one we purged quite a bit I got rid of a bunch of paint we actually need to go take it to a paint dump station this side does not look very lovely but that's okay I have a place to go with everything and I'm just very thrilled with it. So here obviously we have the golf cart. It gets plugged in over here. And then this corner is a little mm, full, but it's okay. I don't mind because it's not stuff that we just like access on a daily basis. So, you know, we have some hooks and we have some things stashed in the back. We have like extra table, chairs, and then here's like our beach wagon with some of the, you know, smaller chairs and stuff. And we do have two ladders. We simply did not really have the wall space to hang them up on. So I told Nick, well, let's just leave them because uh, we can just prop them against this side. It's not like I'm using this stuff very often. So we've got our Christmas tree up top there. Hopefully this video gave you some inspiration and uh, just like the motivation to get started. Maybe you've been dreading it or maybe this will be perfect timing for you this spring once it warms up if you're in a cold climate for us we wanted i wanted to get it done before it you know gets hot and it's gonna happen really soon i am gonna close out the video and i hope you enjoyed it it has been a long one uh kind of mixed with different things but yeah we had a good weekend uh with clay here and the boys had a lot of fun with him and we had yeah just a good restful sunday went to some friend's house last night i am going to enjoy the rest of the week so Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. I'd love that. I will see you all next time. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna call it quits. Ooh. It's probably a little much. Ha 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 ha! Can you say cheese? Cheese!